Hello everyone, this is Imran Pardesi sir and today I will be continuing standard 8 maths chapter number 15 area. In area last session we have seen practice set 15.2 and we have started the formula of area of rhombus. An area of rhombus is equals to half multiplied by product of its diagonals of product of its product of length of its two diagonals. So let me clear you one thing rhombus whose all four sides will be con <coughs> congruent or equals to each other and it has two diagonals and these two diagonals are perpendicular bisector of each other always remember the rhombus means all four sides will be same charo sides same hoge aur uske beech mein jo do diagonals hai they are perpendicular and bisector okay perpendicular means it makes 90 degree or right angle triangle and it divides the diagonals into two equal equal parts okay so please pay attention towards the board practice set 15.2 question number 3 if perimeter of a rhombus is 100 cm okay perimeter perimeter means what sum of all the four sides or perimeter of rhombus is equals to 4 multiplied by side okay perimeter of rhombus is equals to 4 multiplied by side it means perimeter means charo sides ki addition is what 100 see 25 25 25 25 so all the sum of all the four sides will be 100 okay so it is given perimeter of rhombus is 100 centimeter and length of one diagonal is 48 centimeter length of one diagonal can you see ac is a diagonal and bd is another diagonal so we have considered ac is a diagonal who is of 48 centimeter ac 48 centimeter hai. can you see these two diagonals intersected each other at point m so this is perpendicular and bisector therefore i have written here 24 24 it means ac 48 centimeter ka tha. just because it is a perpendicular bisector so it gets divided into two equal parts 24 and 24 that is 48 okay now see the further what is the area of the quadrilateral so what is the area of this figure quadrilateral means this rhombus okay here quadrilateral means uh, what is the area of this rhombus okay so my dear students first we will draw this rough figure alongside a b c d is a pair is a rhombus can you see here the all four sides are congruent see i have written here i have given here uh, identical mark c11 mark so it is a b c d so we will consider let quadrilateral a b c d be the required rhombus suppose ye ek quadrilateral jo rhombus hai now we will see we will write over there a c and the b d are two diagonals intersecting at point m okay so diagonal a c 48 centimeter a c 48 hai it means uska half half kitna ho jayega 24 and 24 is it clear why look at here we know that a m is half of AC a length of AM length of AM यहां से लेके यहां तक AM आधा है AC का see length of AM is half of length of AC so half of AC we know 48 48 का half 24 so AM is 24 so MC is also 24 okay now perimeter of rhombus 4 multiply by side perimeter of rhombus is 100 centimeter so perimeter is given we will write perimeter ke niche 100 4 multiply by side AB, BC, CD, AD, AE aap yaha pe koi bhi side le sakte hai so we have taken AB see perimeter of rhombus 100 is equals to 4 multiply by side side AB so this 4 will come here which is in multiplication form 4 yaha pe multiply hai this 4 will come here it will divide see 4, 4 if you will make 100 ke 4 tukde so it will be 25 so 4 4 2s are 8, 2 remain, 4 5s are 20. So that AB, AB is 25. So BC 25, CD 25, AD also 25. Why? Because rhombus means all four sides are congruent to each other. Okay. So length of AB is equal to 25 centimeter. So my dear students, now we will say diagonal of rhombus are perpendicular. These two diagonals are perpendicular bisectors. So can we use this triangle? See, can we use this triangle? Use kar sakte hai? triangle AMD in, in which angle AMD is 90 degree M is 90 degree see here major angle AMD is equal to 90 degree in triangle AMD हम ये triangle use कर रहे हैं जो हमारे लिए हमेशा easy होता है 
AMD, this triangle. Okay, so AMD is 90 degree. So if you if you know the triangle is a right angle triangle and you know two sides, so third side, this third side, MD. Can you find MD by Pythagoras theorem? See, this is a right angle triangle, two sides you know, third side you want to find out. So this is, you can find by Pythagoras theorem, yes. So if you find MD, you can find B, BD because MD is half of BD. MD half a BD ka. So MD pata chala, to BD pata chalega. Then you will get the two diagonals. Agar aapko two diagonals pata chal ge, so you can find out area of rhombus which is half into product of its two diagonals. So one diagonal you know it is 48. Second diagonal you will find out here. If the second diagonal will come, you will find out the area of rhombus. Yes. So now here by Pythagoras theorem, we will use AD. AD is a hypotenuse. 90 degree ki opposite side is AD. So AD is a hypotenuse square is equal to AM square plus MD square. Okay. AD square is equal to AM square plus MD square. So we have written the value AD 25 square that is 625, 24 square 576 MD as it is. This will come to the left hand side, it will subtract, answer will come 49 MD square. That is MD square is equal to 49. By taking square root MD will be 7 centimeter. 49 is the square of 7. Now MD 7. MD 7 hai, so MBM, uh, MD also 7, 7, 7, 14. So BD will be 14. But look at here the formula, length of MD, MD is the half of BD. MD is the half of BD. So that is, uh, we know that MD is 7 and this is 1 upon 2, BD we don't know. This 2 which is in division form, 2 here half a division form mein hai. 2 will come here, it will multiply. So 7 multiply by 2, it is 14. So MD 7, MB 7, so BD 14 centimeter. Now one diagonal is 48 and BD is 14 centimeter. So now we can find out area of rhombus. What is the area of quadrilateral? So area of rhombus is equal to half multiplied by product of its diagonals. So product means multiplication. So first, first diagonal is 48, second diagonal is of 14. You can cut any both of them. If you can cut one cut, then you can multiply and then half can cut half. No problem. So which one is easy? You can refer that. See 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 4s are 8. So it is 24 multiplied by 14. Yaha se bacha 24, yaha se aya 14. So 24 14s are 336 square, square centimeter. You are finding area, therefore we will use square and the length is given in centimeter. So therefore we will write square centimeter. So therefore the area of the quadrilateral is 336 square centimeter. I hope you understood here. So dear students, now after question number 3, we will see the question number 4. It is also the same like question number 3. Please pay attention. Question number 4. If length of a diagonal of rhombus is 30 cm and its area, area of rhombus is 240 square centimeter, find its perimeter. Suppose this is a required rhombus or quadrilateral, same figure A, B, C, D. AC is a diagonal. Suppose one diagonal is 30 centimeter, it means AC 30 centimeter. Okay. If AC is 30 centimeter, so it's half 15, 15, right? Now, area of this quadrilateral means area of this rhombus that is 240 square centimeter. So we will write here AC is a diagonal, BD is a diagonal. Let a quadrilateral ABCD be the given rhombus. ABCD is the required rhombus or given rhombus. AC is the diagonal, BD is the another diagonal, there are two diagonals which intersecting each other at point M and they, the diagonals are perpendicular, bisector each other, so this is 90 degree AMD. So this triangle only we will use, hum ye triangle hi use karenge, triangle AMD because it is very much easy to understand. So these two diagonals intersecting each other at a point and they are perpendicular bisector. So perpendicular means 90 degree. Right angle triangle and bisector means they will divide the diagonals into equal half half parts. Okay. So what is given here? Area of rhombus. See area of quadrilateral ABCD that is area of rhombus is equal to 240 square centimeter and AC 30 centimeter means other 15 15 ho jayega. Okay. 
area from bus is equals to half multiplied by product of its diagonals. Product means multiplication. Two diagonals AC multiplied by BD. C. Area of rhombus 240 diya hai. Area of rhombus 240 square centimeter. Half as it is. Multiply as it is. Product of its two diagonals. Length of AC multiplied by length of BD. AC is a diagonal. BD is another diagonal. AC we know AC is given 30 centimeter. So 30 ka half ho jayega 15. Right? 2 15s are 30. Now 15 multiply by BD will remain. BD to malum karna hai. BD will come as it is. BD is not given. But we will find out BD will come 16. See this 15 will go here. Because 15 is multiplication form. 15 will come to the left hand side. It will divide 240. 15 ones are 15. 9 remain. 9 0 90. 15 6 are 90. So length of BD is 16 centimeter. BD. BD. The second diagonal will be 16 centimeter. So diagonal. This diagonal bisect each other. So it is 8 8. Okay. 16 ka half. 8 8. Aadha aadha ho jayega 8 8. See, MD is a half of, we are taking this triangle. Hum is triangle pe kaam kar rahe, so it is very much easy. So, a length of MD is a half of BD. BD ka half hai. BD kitna hai? 16. BD is 16 centimeter. So, BD, MD is a half of 16, that is 8. Okay, 2 8s are 16. Now, we came to know MD is 8 and AM is 15. Can we find out AD? See, this is a right angle triangle, AMD, AMD, this is a right angle triangle, AM15, MD8, can we find out AD? Yes, because of the Pythagoras theorem, AMD is a right angle triangle, see, diagonals of rhombus are perpendicular each other, so therefore, major angle AMD is of 90 degree, and in triangle AMD, angle AMD is a 90 degree, so by Pythagoras theorem, see, AD is a hypotenuse, AD. This is right angle triangle. A, M, D. Ye right angle triangle hai. A, D is a hypotenuse. Right angle ki saamne ki side. Right angle opposite side is a hypotenuse. So, A, D square is equals to A, M square plus M, D square. A, D we have to find. So, A, D square 15 square 225. 8 square 64. Now, the answer will come 289. And 289 is the square of 17. So, we will write by taking a square root, AD is equals to AD, AD is equals to 17 centimeter, AD is equals to 17 centimeter. Now, you, you came to know all the sides will be congruent because it is a rhombus. Rhombus means whose all four sides will be congruent, equal and its two diagonals will be uh, perpendicular bisector of each other. So, what we have to find? We have to find its perimeter, perimeter of Rhombus. So, perimeter of rhombus is equals to 4 multiply by side. We, till now, we don't know what, what is the length of the side. But we came to know AD by this Pythagoras theorem. AD is the one side of a rhombus. So, all the sides will be of 17, 17, 17. Yes. So, perimeter of rhombus is equals to 4 multiply by side. 4 multiply by side. So, 4 multiply by 17. That is 68 centimeter because we are finding perimeter. So, therefore, perimeter of rhombus is 68 centimeter. This is how you have to solve the same method. We will draw the rough figure of the rhombus A, B, C, D only like this only. A, C, D, diagonal, B, D, diagonal. They will bisect each other, perpendicular each other. So, you will use Pythagoras theorem only. We know that B, uh, B, M is half of B, D or M, D is half of B, D. A, M is half of A, C or M, C is half of A, C. This is everything we know very well. I hope you understood this practice set 15.2 question number 3 and 4. They are lengthy but very easy. Try to solve it. Uh, try to practice it. And I hope you understood. Best of luck. Thank you so much.